Yeah, you can make this awesome glow effect in P5 by just adding several codes. You can apply on shapes, text, and even images. So, let me show you how we can play with them. So, this is a rounded rectangle you can draw with this ordinary rect function. At above, I set the color mode to HSV, rect mode to center. So, to get the glow effect, all you need is add uh, those two lines above the rect. I set the brightness and the glow color. For now, same as the rectangle. So let's reload it. Ooh, too easy. These are originally HTML functions, but currently we can use in P5 in this way. I put several resources about those stuff in the description below. Or set the field to nothing. Instead, draw tick stroke. Now we see the glow both inside and outside. I like this. If you duplicate the rectangle, you can increase the glow intensity. Uh, yeah, we don't really like duplicate or shape functions since that slows frame rate. If you know the other way to achieve this, please leave a comment below. If you set the background color brighter, then set the glow color darker, we can get this shadow effect. But this looks too flat, so I put other two properties here. Offset X and Y. Okay, that looks much better. Oh, let's make it mouse interactive. I map 0 to width of mouse x to 20 to minus 20. I do the same vertically. Yeah, we are moving light source. Feels more realistic. By the way, if you are finding this video is helpful, I'd love if you would push the like button so this video spreads to more P5JS coders. When it comes to the glow effect, many of you might imagine this neon sign effect. To make this result, I use this font, Alex Brush, and two ping images, Coffee and Brock Wall. I put them in the asset directory in the project. You can find the download link of them in the description below. In the JS file, I loaded them here, then set some properties for the text and images. I also made a function for the glow effect for convenience. So in the draw function, let's display the block image as background. Cool, then the text neon signs. I type coding party, put the center of the canvas. For now, I set the field random stroke like this, but it's up to you. Great, now I turn on the glow effect. Hmm, I set pinkish color for the glow, but it's very subtle, so I duplicate the text. Hmm, much better. I want to make more of this glow spread around the text, so I duplicate again with different amount of brightness. Hmm, beautiful. I also put a nice little coffee cup above the text. Mm, now it looks awesome. Lastly, let's make flickering animation using party noise. I make an offset. I also make a function flickering. Inside the function, increment the offset. Generate a noise value with the offset. Then if the noise value is less than 0.3, return 0. Otherwise, return 100. I use this for opacity of the images. In this image name function, at first I make one image dark gray by darkening the brightness. Also turn off the glow. And for the rest images, I set the opacity to this value frequency. 
So when the noise value is less than 0.3, the opacity becomes zero, which means we only see this darkened image. Just don't forget to set the tint value to normal at the last, so that the block wall image won't be affected. If you see the jaggies, maybe you want to increase pixel density to 2. So that's gonna be much smoother. But of course this slows processing, so I set the frame rate to 24. At default it's 60 frames per second, but 24 should be enough to perceive the animation. So now you can use Grow and Shadow effect in P5.js. I hope your P5 experience is gonna be dramatically changed. Stay tuned for more good P5 tutorials.